set up exactly, but these are the, you know, uh, which has dioramas that have not changed since the 1970s. So since I have Frank Wilson in the room, I'm like, please come, mine our museum. <laughs> this is still what it looks like, you know, it has for 40 years. Um, and um, so, although I never had the opportunity to visit the other museum in 1990, I feel I lived it, you know, I lived the other museum and it was such a boon. This is the other museum now. I've moved away from shots of the National Museum uh, in Nairobi. Um, the uh, you know one element of which I've never seen in just in represent just in, in, in photographs. Uh, one element of this exhibition that always sticks out to me, and that is the prominent wall-sized upside-down map of the world. And you know, of course, the Earth does not have a proper up or down side, and viewing the world with the south on top is as arbitrary as the other way around. Indeed, growing up in my Afrocentric household, we had one such reversed map on its wall, on our wall. Um, and as a reminder to question the supposed neutrality and objectivity of Western knowledge. <laughs> It was with this sense of kinship that here was an artist speaking my language that I have encountered the frequent appearances of globes in Wilson's work. Sometimes whimsical, sometimes sardonic, always affective. These globes set the arbitrary nature of cultural hegemony spinning. Wilson's globes challenge us to reconsider our perspective on geography and history. This playful yet profound questioning aligns with the ethos of my upbringing, where unsettling the given was not just an intellectual exercise, but a necessary mode of becoming black in an anti-black world. Wilson's Globes, with their subtle subversions and inversions, act as a reminder that the maps we navigate by, both literal and metaphorical, are imbued with lures and snares, and urgently urges us, so it urges us to continually question and reimagine the worlds that we inhabit. So, thank you.
Crystal? Okay, but, but I get 125 dollars a set for them. Really? But we got a guy that it makes them. Uh huh. And he furnished them to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I go over after going buy the six car, five car. I go over and get six, six brand new pair. Mm hmm. And then the next week, next week I take them back to him. Yeah. Get up. I mean them. They nice. Yeah. So the, are these used? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I take them back and, you know, if I was going back the next week, I'd get six new more pair, you know. Uh-huh. But uh, we didn't have to buy none. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I didn't, I never did sell anything, any of my blood that was full. Mm-hmm. Uh, People bought stuff that they bought. Right. They get, they got high, you know, across. Mm -hmm. uh, two of my them breeds or something other, but that was it. The hell is this? Huh, leather. Yeah. 
again. The modern the roof. Yeah. Thing with him again. You can have that if you want. Thank you. Perceive after all so many uttering tongues, I perceive they do not come from roofs of mouth. 